Oh, what's up, y'all? <clears throat> You're getting my first words out of my throat today. Um. Mm. Oh, it is Indigenous Peoples Day of Mourning. <clears throat> also known as the White Man's Thanksgiving. <clears throat> this is the day where black people eat a bunch of food. Um, and I invite all of us to to actually think about the other lives that our lives are built on. You know, the, the myth of individualism in the United States really has people forget that there's nothing you have um, that doesn't have a direct relationship to someone else, someone else's life and certainly under a system of white supremacist delusion, capitalism and imperialism that connection to other people's lives is also one, often one that's deadly um, violent, harmful and you know, it's not possible inside of this system to do no harm but we can certainly be mindful um, and try to do less, right? Um, I woke up this morning very specifically thinking about someone asked me, you know, and I get this question often from white people. And so this is the, the white people message that I didn't leave at the last what's up y'all that I'm gonna leave today. And it's for the white people who are like, what can I do? And I literally, you know, I don't think white people ask any more of a question than this. And so here's your cheat sheet. I woke up this morning and I was like, there's a cheat sheet to this answer. A real quick assessment of like, what can I do? And then, so I invite you to use this cheat sheet to go out into your life and figure out how you become um, active inside of the work of solidarity. It dismantling white supremacist delusion and all other forms of oppression. And, and this is not the complete version, let me be clear. I'm sure later on something else will come in my brain, but this is what's popped up right now. Are you giving up power? Are you leveraging power? Are you redistributing power? What can you do? You can give up power, you can leverage power, and you can redistribute power. And ultimately, yeah, at some point you should be doing all three, right? And so what does that mean? Giving up power means giving up <laughs> The places where you collude with white supremacist delusion. Um, giving up, that includes giving up social power. So, you know, one of the ways you give up social power by no longer being silent in the face of um, white supremacist delusion from other white people. Because social power is to not rock the boat, right? Is to allow the status quo, which is white supremacist delusion, to operate uninterrupted. So if you have never had a conversation with your family about white supremacist delusion, you are, you haven't given up any power. You're not engaged in anything that disrupts power. You're not even disrupting the power system inside your own family and community, right? Um, so if you are engaged in gatherings with your people, and I, my face looks like that because I don't know why you would be engaged with gatherings with your people right now in the middle of a damn pandemic. Um, but if you're making them kind of risky decisions, then I would advise if you're interested in how, what can I do that you use this holiday to talk about this is a perfect time to talk about the real history of white people and white supremacist delusion inside of the United States. Do you know the actual history of this holiday? Have you shared it with your family? And have you offered other things that you all could be doing? Have you offered ways that you could be supporting um supporting ways to um be in restitution 
to be in a process of, you know, accountability and repair. That's one way. All right. So, so that's in the social sector, right? So that's the place to give up power. You can give up power in, in your job. You can give up power. Like, you know, again, white people often, you know, feign a lack of power. And part of that is as a way to protect power, right? It's like to not notice the places where you're, to not notice your own sphere of influence and to be oblivious to your sphere of influence is to be oblivious to your power, which is to allow your power to operate uninterrupted. It is a strategy of white supremacist delusion. So um, where is your sphere of influence? And where are you being obtuse about the ways in which you could be disrupting that sphere of influence? The ways in which you could be giving up power, redistributing power, leveraging your power, right? So when you're leveraging power, you're looking for ways in which you can um, use your positionality to create better lives for Black folks, Indigenous folks, and other people of color, right? And so that means like, how am I using my access, my money, my capital, um, my um, influence, um, my body, in ways that uh, give greater access, um, a greater resource, greater capital to Black, Indigenous, and, people, and other people of color, right? So that's the question. Are you doing that? Are you leveraging what it is that you have? Um, you know, in, in practical ways, it's, you know, do you... You know, are you in a hiring position at your job? Are you in an influencing position that may not be hiring, but you have the ear of higher ups? Have you pushed back on, you know, have you pushed back on an organization that lacks, um, not maybe, maybe you have people of color, maybe you have black folks in your organization, but none of them are in management. Do you, have you questioned those things? Do you ask about those things? Do you push back on those things? Do you try to make coalitions at your job to to shift and change those things? Have you investigated and tried to shift the culture of whiteness in your organization so that when people of color come, they can actually have a a safer workplace to engage in? Have you done any of those things? You know. So that's another way of sort of leveraging power, right? And then redistribution. What do you have that you should give up? This is the hard one because white people don't like giving up power. I mean, that's the seat. It is the seat of white supremacist delusion. It's to pretend you don't have no power so you don't ever have to give it up. So that the imbalance that is in the world can continue to exist. And, you know, oftentimes the imbalance is presented as something that just grew out of thin air. And it didn't grow out of thin air. It grew out of white people were given things at the expense of black bodies, indigenous bodies, and other bodies. You have some shit because they took it from my people. <laughs> That's why. And so where in your life can you be honest about that? Where in your life can you be like, really honest about that. And, you know, so if you have access to wealth, here's the deal. I'm going to say this real fast. If you're just sitting on, you know, if you're just sitting on money that you call yourself, like, um, your family is saving, you know, like you're just saving, you're saving for when you die, you're saving to pass on your kids, right? You're, you're, you're saving, you know, for when you retire, right? For all this future planning stuff. And I'm not saying don't do any of that, but but if you just have some untouchable ass money, you're sitting on untouchable ass white supremacist delusion gained resource. That's what you're doing. 
That's what you're doing. I never had enough money to really have a savings account until the last two years, right? And while I have a savings account, I regularly pull from that savings account to support black, brown, and indigenous people. I regularly give money from the thing that people say is not touchable. Stop not touching wealth that you have because that's the money you're supposed to be redistributing. And I'm not telling you to go broke. I'm not telling you to be homeless. I'm not telling you. But I'm saying that if you're sitting on wealth, if you're sitting inside of, of uh, your whatever your savings plan is that involves tens or hundreds of thousands of dollars in some bank account, and you haven't figured out how to give resources to black folks, if you haven't figured out how to engage in a reparations process for black folks, if you haven't figured out how to support indigenous people, you're hoarding white supremacist delusion resourced wealth. That's what you're doing. And stop that shit if you're serious. You know, the problem is many, many of y'all not serious. Um, so there's your answer to your question. Redistribute power, which includes money, but also includes um, land includes, you know, do you have land? Are you passing that to your family? Are you giving it to indigenous people? Are you returning land back to the original stewards of it? Do you have wealth? This for my followers, for specifically for my people. Are you, do you have access to wealth and you haven't signed up for buyback black debt? These are the questions. When it's time to actually put your money, to put your power, to put your time, to put your social standing on the line, are you doing it? Are you doing it honestly? So what should I do? Redistribute power, leverage power. Um, redistribute power, leverage power. Uh, give power away discard your power right look for look for ways in which you can discard your own power all right bye y'all